here at Suitland Elementary, we have third, fifth, and sixth graders. Um, we're going to be teaching them about the waste stream, um, about um, the carbon cycles, thermodynamics, electromagnetics, and then we're going to uh, teach about the elements of the business plan. So we'll ask uh, participants to identify products from the waste stream, develop a business plan around those products, and um, present their, their business plans in a competition for prizes in May. Third, fifth, and sixth graders are eager to learn the uh, energy life cycle because the way that we handle our class is through manipulatives. Um, everything that we bring into the class is, is materials that are in their homes, in their schools, in their churches, in their communities, sitting out on the, on the, on the uh, curbs, more or less. Um, we, in our society, perceive this as dirty, garbage, whatever. Um, but it's all around us, and we have this habit of consuming and throwing away, and consuming and throw away. There's lots of intervention um, uh, methods, and um, when, when third, fifth, and sixth graders touch this stuff, they ask questions like, where did you get this? And did you buy this? And um, what are you going to do with it? What I'm learning about um, the school system is that when a child asks a question, it's gold. It shows that they're engaged in it, and rather than um, me lecturing uh, to them, I feed off of their questions and their excitement. Close Energy is preparing Prince Georgians for energy jobs by teaching the energy life cycle and leading citizens to action. Americans are 5% of the world's population, but we consume 30% of the world's resources on buildings, transportation, and stuff. Um, the, most people would call uh, the energy life cycle, they'd use the term sustainability, but Close Energy thinks that when we focus on the stuff and on our waste, uh, we perceive jobs, money, companies, employment, and opportunities. In 2011, I created my own nonprofit, Close Energy, and um, uh, immediately was awarded a grant. And since then, I've continued to market to schools, to the school system, to um, park and planning, to other organizations. Um, and it took about a year worth of contact at this location at Suitland Elementary School, and it finally uh, worked out. Um, the principal um, is progressive, and she um, sees value in uh, Close Energy's ideas and is extremely welcoming. The Chesapeake Bay um, Trust um, issued a grant. Um, there are 51 organizations statewide that applied for the grant and 127 18 to 25 year olds that applied to be matched up with the host organization. Um, uh, my intern Alexis applied. Alexis is a, um, a, a energy, excuse me, she's an environmental management student at University College. Um, she was born and raised here in the county and um, uh, we were matched up because she was interested in energy and that's what I was asking for. Suitland is emerging into um, the its community initiative to uh, develop the community and its entrepreneurships um, that are going on, the efforts that are going on in the community. Our students have a heads up. They have an opportunity to kind of look into well, what ideas interest them, how can they bring those ideas to fruition. And so Close Energy offer, offers them an opportunity to kind of explore those activities, uh, look at things from a different lens, if you will, to kind of develop their skill base so that perhaps they can become assets to the community in the future. Today, as an example, we'll be talking about thermodynamics. Um, there's a, a PBS special on um, finding absolute zero that we'll be watching. Uh, we proceed by giving a little pretest to find out what the, the uh, students know. We brought in um, an air conditioner uh, from the waste stream and we'll talk about um, uh, what, it, what it does in our buildings and how um, our buildings are using waste or abusing waste. And it's, it's there just to, um, to uh, inspire them to think about uh, building, building um, services and, and um, HVAC equipment um, because there's opportunity there and I want them to see what the opportunity is.